Our other big story, brand new details in the deadly mass shooting at the Walmart in Chesapeake. Nearly a week after workers shot and killed six employees, a memo posted on Walmart's website says the store will stay closed for the foreseeable future. And all workers at the store off Battlefield Boulevard will continue being paid as well. And they're working with staff to decide how to reopen a store in a way that will help them move forward. Walmart is also helping families of the victims with funeral and other expenses. Meantime, the first lawsuit in the mass shooting has now been filed. This from a worker who said she saw it all happen. Drone 10 shows the scene today where a memorial continues to grow. And this morning, we learned that a worker at the store who witnessed the shooting is now asking for millions from the big name chain. Then your side's Kiana Patterson has a look at this lawsuit tonight. Kiana? Yes, a $50 million lawsuit was filed today in Chesapeake. Danya Prelu was an overnight worker who is now struggling to cope with witnessing her co-workers killed right in front of her. Mean and cruel. That's how a gunman is described in an 11-page lawsuit. In the suit, Danya Prelo says she was in the break room when her co-worker started shooting killing six people and hurting several others. She says bullets almost hit her in the face. She hurt herself trying to get away. The suit says Walmart managers were aware of reports of bullying, threatening and harassing behaviors before the shooting, including statements like if he was ever fired, he would retaliate and people will remember his name. Ten on your side decided not to name the shooter on air for this reason. It is also believed that he was recently demoted and had a personal vendetta against several Walmart workers and kept a kill list. A source tells Ten on your side, first responders found a list near the shooter of employees who he wanted to target. Prelu says in the suit she has nightmares since the shooting and she wants to hold Walmart accountable for not disciplining him or forcing him to get a mental health evaluation. Walmart sent us this statement. It says in part, our deepest sympathies go to our associates and everyone impacted, including those who were injured. We are reviewing the complaint and will be responding as appropriate with the court. And we have the full lawsuit for you to read right now over on wavy.com. In the newsroom, Kiana Patterson, turn on your side. All right, more to this story. Thank you, Kiana.